<laughs> fucking deal with it. <laughs> Welcome everyone. We are the Grin Brothers. I'm here to commit bloody genocide. Uh, Bravo. Bravo. These bloody trigger men. What does he do? Locks them up. Like he ain't got the balls to just. Well, they were friends. Well, That's why he isn't doing it. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. There, there, there. Oh, great. oh no! Oh no! Super fighting robot! Oh, Come I actually got it. a sneak attack. Awesome. However, these guys do have machine guns. Jesus! I thought they were Tommy guns they were using. Yeah, which honestly, Tommy gun Tommy... is a machine gun. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. Let's drink a blood pack. Because <laughs> you know you do that, and you <laughs> Bradridge. Stop shooting me! I thought he was Don't. trying to inform you about something, but he just kind of died. Let me inform you about the piece! <laughs> How are you shooting me for a wall? How did I only have 50% hit chance? Oh, you're using an axe! Well, I happen to actually be an axe insurance man guy. Yes, that. <laughs> There was a joke that was going to be formed somewhere. You just don't know where. Molly food, let's take it. You know, that was one of the only times I've actually seen, you know, a limb coming off actually making sense. Yeah, we just did just decapitate him. Yeah, not at the right angle, but... An irrelevant fact. Yeah, he cut straight forward and his head popped off, but, you know... potatoes. Ooh, a flip player. And a fedora. Uh... Shash! They're not even outside, so no. I'm not sure. It's like, even if I close the back door, it's Cigarette not going to make any caps. difference. They're just, they're just being dogs. I'm guessing, that that hot I'm guessing that hot play had copper in, because it had the magnifying glass over yeah, it. Yeah, something I want in it. Ooh, a terminal. Purchase ticket. <sighs> Can you even do that? Or? No. Function terminated. Yeah, it's got nothing useful. Some of them allow you to activate, like, the... Turrets. Robots and such. Go on. I'm surprised, given, you know, it's been 200 years, how many locked doors there are still left in this world. I'm more impressed... I'm more impressed that the, um... He okay with that. Yeah, he doesn't mind you breaking into places. Because, I mean, no one owns it. Although someone technically does own it. No one that matters owns it. As in, they're probably... Why did people, before the apocalypse, keep so many bottle caps? Ah! The funniest is when you open the locks that are pre-war locks, and they have weapons that are, have only been created since the apocalypse. You know how we have this recurring theme where we end up basically insulting other YouTubers unintentionally? Yeah... Well, we could talk about our frustration at watching Team Four Star playing Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke, because we were doing that just before we started uh, recording this. We were watching Team Four Star play Pokemon Leaf Green as a Nuzlocke or Nuzlocke. Yeah. And you um, were technically. I I just kind of came in. I decided to invite you down because they've been grinding for three episodes in a row, each one twenty to thirty minutes long, to prepare themselves to face Brock. Spoiler warnings, by the way, if you want to watch Team Four Star, like, episode seven. Yeah. Which has clearly been out for a while. Yeah, they're up to, like, part 26, so... Uh, Team Four Star sort of playing through games is pretty entertaining. Dragon Ball Z Universe is clearly the best of theirs, simply because of Dumpling! Dumpling, to be fair, scarred me for life. Not this time. Go on, then. You initiate the fight. And I will follow because yeah. they have machine guns. You know, I I don't. I see why Curious doesn't bring Codsworth with him often. You know, the whole stealth factor doesn't really work when. Codsworth can't stealth. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that person would be in more pain after being shot in the groin, but you know. You'd think so. Oh, this is like tons of ammo in a round. Well, yeah, you haven't used it before. No, I mean, it's got 24 shots before you have to reload. Oh. Just shot him, like, in the face and he didn't even flinch. Gotta give him credit. I trust everyone's <laughs> still alive. He's... No, I've been shooting him, so... Mm. 
They don't move very quick. Nah. I'll be honest, if I was being shot in the head... This is going much better than when you went through this area. Because when you went through this area, you, um... Walked got, in? Yeah, you walked in, tried to have a fist fight with a guy, and he was kicking your ass. I didn't want to use up With his more... fists, which is impressive, you know. I didn't want to use any more ammo, so I was like, well, I guess I'll just punch this guy to death, because... And the punching is surprisingly deep in this game. You know, you can block and parry and all that. Blocking's for nerds. Yeah, as you've demonstrated in most games you play. How well has that gone for you so far in Pokémon Tournament? The whole no block strategy? Um, Until you decided to settle upon just match choking everything? I mean, to be fair, it didn't go poorly. Like, I've only been beaten by a few things. Most of the time, that's because I'm not really paying attention when fighting. Yeah, that's usually a problem. Like, because so many of the fights are, like, really easy, so I basically just stop trying. Yeah. And then that results in me in losing horribly, because... Yeah, it's, it's, you know, you get thrown off and you have tons of easy fights, and then this next one's, like, really hard. Don't okay, swim. how far can you jump? Really far. I thought you'd have leveled up by now, the amount of time you got that lucky thing. <sighs> well, it only gives me three times... Yeah, no, it actually gives you a ton of experience, really. <laughs> right. I want to loot them because they've got plenty of ammo. Oh, they've got food. That'd be good for, you know, your one settlement, because we're not going to worry <laughs> so much about needing to go help every Self settlement. Steak. What? Salisbury steak. Not in my pretty much never use. Oh, for you saying settlements were a mistake. No, I actually really like the settlements. I like it in theory, not quite so much in practice from what I've seen because it just results supply in, lines. It just results in you and Kiris just spending all your time sorting out settlements and doing character quests instead of you know. Oh, Liam. Saving your son. Liam, let's be honest. Without settlements, it would result in the exact same thing. That's just sad. So very sad. Well, I have no attachment to my son. But I don't you, care. I'm more attached. at least see the end of the game, though. I don't think they... From what I've heard... Or are they, you just waiting for the DLC well, to... No, hold on. Like so you did with New Vegas. Here's the thing, right? If... It's... I don't know how the ending to this game works. I don't think it works like Fallout 3 and New Vegas. But either way, I'm not taking, like, the risk... Because Fallout 3 in New Vegas encourages you to do basically all the side quests before you actually complete the main quest. Because at the end you get a slideshow mentioning about the events of what happens to everything you've been involved with. Yes. Yeah. And so... Oh. How did... Oh, it was a skeleton. Um, well, I thought that was one of the people you killed which got gone into and, the next room somehow. And so it's... Like, you do the side quests and such, because if you don't... I triggered a trap, but it didn't do anything. I, uh, That's good, then. And it's weird. Or you're just gonna, like, you finally confront uh, Skinny Malone and you just suddenly blow up from the trap. Oh, that. It missed me. Don't think I can pick this. Damn it. For God's sake! This is why I grind! Um, but no, so, like, you would do the other quests and the character quests and stuff to get the ending you wanted to for them. Yeah. And so that's why I instinctively ignore the main quest. So you think that's going to happen or you don't think that's going to happen? I don't know. I, I don't know. I think I looked it up at some point and I forgot. <laughs> Uh, beep, back to, beep, back beep, to that beep, Pokemon beep, comment we were saying. Yes. Although I, j I really enjoy Team Four Star games, sort of uh, playing through the games, I, I enjoy a lot about Team <coughs> Four Star. Their Final Fantasy VII Machine Abridged is uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, it's so funny. I've actually watched. I've actually watched the entire series three times now. Wow. Um. But. Right. In the Pokemon Nuzlocke, their fight against Brock was just an absolute tragedy. Yeah. And it's like the height of poor decisions. I'm going to re equip this. Because... I've, I've, I've enjoyed sort of just going back and playing through Pokemon Red, Blue, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. And basically, all the Pokemon games, I like just going through and usually only like playing for like 
half a day, sort of, which would usually mean only going through like the first gym, maybe the second gym. Yeah, we take um, the Pokemon games a bit slower than most people. And um, you know, not saving it. You know, just you know, having a new game and just saying, "Oh, I've never used this star before." I'm, you know, I'm not sure if I'll get another version because unless you get all three versions, you won't really usually use the stars. Um, and. Good shot! You've reached level ten. Sweet. Um, level. Up. And so I'm, I'm quite adept to find Brock. Right. And the strategy of, you know. Congratulations, you reached. Let's level. use Pidgey to sand attack sand uh, to stop Rock Tim from hitting. Is or uh, well, let's use Butterfree String Shot to slow Onyx down. Neither one is a strategy I'd go for. Um. And it was painful watching. Well, you either want Black Widow, which seems to decrease your ability to convince people. Black Widow or Bloody Mass? Or that. Is there a doctor now? Stimpak Restore for you. Mm, Stimpak. The, there's a, the problem that is... That sounds pretty good. There's a lot of perks I want early game. Generally, I find some of the best perks You could just get a second get strength one in case you're planning on looting more. These but. ones. The weapon upgrades and stuff are really helpful early game. Uh, I think you can focus on them when we're doing the grinding part. Yeah. Though. I think in this so, particular area, that is quite good because Black every Widow. one is. Although I could also. I'd say Black Widow or Medic. Do you want to go lock picking? I'll get that with grinding, actually. Okay, uh, do we have a dice or anything? I'm going to go with Black Widow. Okay. Fair enough. Because I'll grind a decent amount of levels. Try to anyway yeah. off screen. Speaking of Pokemon, though, and this is something that you'll find funny. Stalking is the wrong word, Codsworth. I'm shooting them. Pikachu Longerine. Yeah. It's a thing. So yeah. pa Pokemon Company has recently just made a deal to make more of it. Like, they announced it as Pokemon Laundering, but it's just Pikachus. Like, one just seems to be, like, Pikachu dolls, sort of, like, strapped up to make, you know, undergarments. I mean, does it surprise you? Because it doesn't really. surprise me. Not really. No, it's pretty... You know, I know Japan has no. street fire condoms, so... I will say, you know, just strapping a bunch of Pikachus to your body does not sound like the best article of clothing. Um, doesn't sound comfortable. You know, pe you know, people actually express their disappointment mostly. It's like, you know, Pokeballs as a bra would work so much better, I've seen like comments say. Or like, oh, come on, unless you're using Jinx or Machamp, or Machamp the, you know, just Pikachu just doesn't work. Pikachu doesn't work. I mean, you don't want rats on your junk, so... <laughs> Um, but it's a weird thing to see, you know, given how N Nintendo is so careful the hill, the and the Pokemon Company are so careful with their child friendly image, it's kind of weird that, you know, that's a thing to just see now as an official product licensed by them. Yeah. Um, it doesn't make that much sense, but I mean, the stuff's been around, so they might as well make money out of it. You know? Mm, fair enough. That's my look. How That's... do other people get into these vaults without pit boys? Someone must have had a pit boy. Did, did... Yes. Vaults are usually down somewhere. They're not usually up in the air. I mean, there probably is a sky vault. Let's be honest. Also, I've been... Where's vault number one, then? Don't know. Number two? Don't know. Have you encountered these vaults before in other Fallout games? These particular vaults? Yeah, these numbers, though. These numbers. Like no. in theory, the like with Pokemon, this should be like Vault four hundred and fifty six or something. No, because the vaults because they're all they're all in different places in the same, like it's the same timeline, but it's all in different places, isn't it? Yeah, and there's not actually that many vaults in each area. That was a lot easier. Like. The, the vaults are actually pretty well kind of laid out. So, like, as I said, the number of vaults in each area isn't particularly excessive. Mm. And, like, some of the vaults go up high in numbers. They also just seem to have randomly placed the numbers wherever they felt like it. Yeah. Um, but generally, the numbers will be kind of somewhat in line. You know? So they'll be, like, roughly... 
around the same-ish number sometimes. Uh... Private science staff only. You can you don't need to enter a password. You just click on it and it just opens up. Um, oh, it's like, please don't look into this. <laughs> I think I remember this one. Which one is it? It's um the one where they got a bunch of like really rich and powerful oh, cool people. people. Yeah. And then forced them to live in really poor conditions. Well, not like necessarily really poor conditions, but poor for them. So yeah. it was like they would only have one bed between a family of three, kind yeah. of thing. That requires a key. Is this entire gang called Triggermen? Yes, they're the Triggermen. Ah, they're, they're not just all have the. Ow. And that Goodbye. was an axe to your groin, which is kind of terrible. I'm going to take a great baseball bat, just because well, why not? We're 15 minutes in, so I'm assuming we're going to end the episode here. Sure. And continue on next time. We are officially in Vault 114, and we are saving Nick Valentine from the Trick of Men and Skinny Malone. Yep. And so, next time, we might actually save him. Okay. Boy! Cheerio!